wearing my dress. I'm wearing my dress. It's not really the short. Okay, if I was standing, you'd be able to tell. Um, it has pockets, so does that make it a frock? I don't know. Um, my hair is drying. I'm gonna take it out of the ponytail now. Can I do that with one hand? Every bitch in the fucking movies makes it look so easy. But, um, my mom's in the store. She's in, um, advanced auto parts. I almost said AutoZone. But, like, we're in advanced auto parts. And, like, literally across the freaking intersection or whatever, that way is the freaking advanced auto. So it's, or, no, this would be advanced auto. AutoZone's on the other side. Or there was. I don't know if it's still over. Maybe it's not over there anymore. But I put my makeup on. And this is some full coverage shit, guys. Do you see this, by the way? Look at my eye right now. I don't know if it's catching on the camera, but... Does my eye not look green? They look green this way, too, but... If I back up, they look blue, don't they? They look fucking blue. Um, it's weird. It is freaking weird. Person in a Pennsylvania Game Commission is pulled up, which I have nothing to worry about, because I ain't hunting animals. Not right now. Um, but yeah, um, last night, and I already posted a video about this election, but last night my country had a decision to make, and they made a decision. And I'm always proud when the voting process works, kind of. But at the same time, Trump seems different after he won. Like, did anyone else notice that, like, he was all, like, braggy, braggy, braggy? All he was doing his campaign speeches, he was talking down about Hillary, and, like, now he's like, oh, I want everyone to come together, even though the whole time I've been in fucking campaigning, I've been trying to separate people. And now I'm saying that Hillary did a good job working for our country, even though the whole time that I was campaigning against her, um, I was calling her this, that, and the other fucking thing. It's confusing, and it's... <sighs> I just realized you might have not been able to hear me there, I'm sorry. It's confusing, and it's... It's very weird to me. I don't know how many other people picked on, picked up on that. And I don't know if that's just him being a gracious winner. But I have trouble believing he's just being a gracious winner. Because that man has never been gracious about anything. Especially when it came to something where he had to make a speech. I mean, come on. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not really upset right now. I'm not one of those people that, like... Because I wasn't a Hillary supporter. I was a Bernie supporter. Um, the fact that they ripped him off, basically, and then made him side with Satan, uh, pisses me off. Uh, it always, you know, I try not to get mad about it because I'm not him and it's not my job to personally be pissed off about it. But I am. Because part of me thinks he would do a better job than either of them. But I really don't know because I don't live in their reality. But I do think that at the DNC, they did rip him off. They did fuck him over and he deserved better. Even if he would have lost, honestly, like, even if he would have lost the nomination, honestly, which I don't think he fucking would have, um, it would have been honestly. And, um, he probably would have bowed out and, you know, I know because of how different they were that he didn't want to side with Hillary. He wouldn't have wanted to side with Donald, but there were times when Donald even gave him the benefit of the doubt. You know? <sighs> Guys, you're on the ceiling. How does it feel? I feel like I'm pretty today, despite having my fucking glasses on. I don't hate these glasses as much as the other ones. I mean, at least these stay on my face. Yeah, I have this foundation on. I showed you guys in one of my videos, didn't I? It's this, like... I paid my... My mom technically paid for it, but it was literally a freaking dollar, and it's BB cream and foundation, and it's not expensive, and it goes on, and it covers everything, and it hasn't caused me any major breakouts. I've had a couple little pimples, but my face is like that anyway, because my face is really oily. Um, if I don't wear makeup at all, I don't have any, you know, usually anything worse than what I've had with this. Um, but as you can see, it's full coverage. Like, there was a thing, like, right here on my neck. And you can see it a little bit, but it used to be way darker. Um, I had something going along here. I had stuff over here. And you can't see it. It's so, like, full coverage. It's so awesome, guys. Um, it came from the Dollar Tree. 
And some of you are going, yes, you can buy makeup from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store or Dollar General or Family Dollar or any shit like that because that's fucking stupid. The thing is, I did and I have in the past and I'm not going to say it's always worked out. But it is not costing your, like let's say you pay $39 for a palette. It did not cost that company you bought it from $39 to make it. It didn't even cost them a fraction of $39 to ship it here. It didn't cost them $39 to ship it to the store. And it does not cost enough for the store to need to charge $39 to make a profit. So, people need to stop and think about, what's wrong with buying makeup cheaper? And I get it if you've bought cheap makeup in the past and um, it's made your skin break out. One, look at the brand. Look at the brand. Look at the ingredients. Um, not all makeups have ingredients in them, but a lot of them do. Um, and also make sure that your skin isn't sensitive. If you have sensitive skin, you might just have to find something, no matter what brand it is, that is hypoallergenic makeup. You know, like stuff that's not going to give you, um, a reaction. I don't know what kind of mukbang I'm going to do today, but I'm going to turn this video off because my mom is coming out of the store and she's getting ready to get in the car. See you guys in the future. So guys, I have my glasses off momentarily because they are getting on my damn nerves. This, guys. I don't know if you can tell how fucking fucked up my eyes are by that, but like, I don't know. Um, I have makeup on today. All I have on is foundation and a little bit of concealer. See what I mean by my my lips look like they have injections or something? There's like a line that my lip, the color of my lips stops. I don't have anything on my lips right now. And then there's just a skin color. And it goes on my top and bottom lip and it looks like I have injections or something. Like it looks like I have an injection here and here. And I say that because if you look at Trish Paytas lips, her lips like... In her videos before, she had injections. They didn't have a line that was overlapped. And now they do. Like, they're like, all the time. And it's like, where my lips just look like that naturally. And I've never had anything done to them. And I'm like, why do my lips look like that? But, you know. I was also combing my hair. Anybody mind watching me comb my hair? Because I hate combing my fucking hair. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, what should, what should I do? Should I make dinner? Should I do something with my life besides being stupid? Um, uh, we have Paternity Court on TV right now because sometimes we watch that. Some of these people on that are trashy. Like, not just airing their personal dirty laundry, but like, you're gonna come on TV and deny something that your spouse, your significant other, or your whatever, has evidence of. I organize the cabinet and people fuck it up within a day. Not surprised! By the way, did you see my shirt? It's a sloth and it says, let's hang. I love sloths. If you want to see something adorable, like if you're having a bad day, and you want to laugh, go look up baby sloth noises on YouTube, and it's literally the best thing in the world. My hair is so thick, even though you can tell I'm ripping a lot of it out. I just don't want it to get all frizzy, and I am worried about that. Ow! Stupid hair. My hair is so poofy, and this is like, I need to clean this. And I'm combing my hair in the kitchen, which I used to get yelled at for doing all the time. Um, and the reason I'm not cutting my hair 
is because some people are like, you should cut the split ends, Jess, you won't have that problem. But the thing is, I'm not cutting my hair until it's a lot longer than it is right now. Because by then I figure I'll have enough of my own length back that I won't have to... I said that weird. I said that like I have extensions, and I don't. I just want everyone to know I don't. But I used to have... My hair feels so thin up here compared to how it used to be, but I know it's growing back because I can physically feel it. And, um, I would look... I fucking hate these glasses. The other ones I have are not much better. They're these thick black frames, which I've worn in videos before. I looked up the video of... It was about, like, a, uh, over a year ago. It's called Why Negativity is a Good Thing. It's a short video, but I have the, the other glasses on it. And it's the only one I can think of right now. I had a dress on earlier today, or, like, it had pockets in it. That's a big deal to me, like, when something has pockets and it's comfortable, like, oh my god. I just put a little valley girl, and I'm so sorry. I feel like I should put something in my hair that gets, that tames this shit. But I'm afraid. I don't like hairspray. Guys, I'm afraid I have a receding hairline. What do I do? I don't know, I hope I don't. So like, what am I gonna do if I do? You know, my hair is so. Oh my god, it's so frizzy! I fucking hate it. I had to do something about the frizz. Oh! I'm definitely posting this before I post my mukbang. If I make a mukbang, I don't know if I'm going to tonight. This might just be sorry about my thumb. Um, this might just be a video of me being stupid. Um. Oh yeah, don't fall. Don't fall, don't fall. Um, I'm in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, the kitchen. The fucking kitchen. Guys. Did you know my bathroom is the fucking kitchen now? So I'm gonna do something. I have hairspray on my hands here. and I'm gonna put water on my hands as well. And I'm literally spraying it. And then adding water. I'm scrubbing it. I'm going like this once. And then... This is to tame the fridge. Mm -hmm. Tame the fridge. Not the fringe. Not the frizz. The fridge. And now I have hair stuck to my hands. I hate how hairspray feels. Not even just on my hair, but on my skin as well. And because I have facial makeup on right now, that BB cream that I showed in my previous video, my hair right about here, my hairline is a little oily, so I have to do something to dry that out. Just dry shampoo. Was that fun to watch? Let me know in the comments section, guys. Oh, gosh. I feel like I look pretty, but let's just see what happens when I put my glasses back on. Ooh, I look good. I did. I don't know what the fuck I did to my hair. Like, it's like, it's like there's too much. Like, I don't... That's why I hate having glasses, because I can't see what I'm doing with my glasses off. And I can't do what I was doing with my glasses off with them on, you know what I mean? Like, you people that wear glasses every day and don't fucking hate it, you're saints. I don't know how. I used to wear glasses every day. Then I turned 18 and I was like, fuck this. Because I literally had marks on my face. From these glasses, actually. I still have them over here right now because they're digging in. Which means I need to sort my contact situation out. And... So that's not bad, but I didn't need to put product- like, like, now all the wave my hair had is gone. It's another reason I don't fucking like hairspray. Like, one second you put it in to hold the body in place. You put it in to 